How to use the smithing table in Minecraft 1.20 In the Minecraft 1.20 update Trails and Tales, the smithing table has been changed to not only upgrade diamond gear to netherite, but also to put the new armor trim on your armor. The changes to the smithing table are currently in the snapshots and will not be in the game until the update is released. How to use the smithing table The display for the smithing table has been changed to this. Now there will be three slots in the smithing table. The first slot is for the smithing template, the second is for the piece of armor, tools, or weapons, and the third slot is for the ingot or crystal being used. On the right side is an armor stand with what the gear will look like. The smithing template is a new item in the 1.20 update. The smithing templates can be found in chest loot and structures by killing elder guardians and excavating the suspicious gravel in the new trail ruins. Each time you use the smithing table, it will consume the smithing template. The smithing template can be duplicated in the crafting table with one of the smithing templates a block depending on the template, and 7 diamonds. There are a total of 17 different smithing templates. The most valuable of these would be the netherite upgrade smithing template. The netherite upgrade, netherite ingot, and diamond gear will be how you get netherite gear. Upgrading to netherite will keep all the enchantments on the gear, the prior work penalty, this is the amount of times it's been worked in the anvil, and the durability points lost. You might want to consider ah. using the grindstone to remove the prior work penalty and enchantments if it has been used in the anvil a lot or the enchantments aren't very good. The other 16 smithing templates are armor trims. These can be used on armor to create decorations that make your armor customizable. They can be put on any type of armor. The armor trim will not have any effect on the armor. For example, netherite colored armor trim will not make the armor immune from being destroyed from lava. The color applied to the armor will depend on the color of the ingot or crystal. There are 10 different colors. Nether quartz that is white, netherite ingot is black, iron ingot is gray, copper ingot is copper, gold ingot is gold, diamond is turquoise, amethyst shard is purple, lapis lazuli is blue, the redstone dust is red, and the emerald is green. This allows you to put almost any color on the armor. Also different colors are more expensive resource wise, like a netherite ingot is harder to get than a copper ingot.